Hello everyone, Darren here, and on today's episode of Watsy Academy, we are going to uh, do a map guide for Lakeville Standard Battle, just because that's a lot easier to explain, um, and it's the default mode for the game. Um, I am joined here with my assistant, uh, Flying Egg. You've seen many of his uh, clips and replays and stuff on my channel already, so you guys hopefully are well aware that he is capable of of providing some sound advice uh, and has the skill to back up his own advice. Um, unfortunately, you will not be able to hear him because my dog chewed my chat cable and I have just keep forgotten to replace it. Anyway, um, this is kind of a revamp of the guide, of the guides I did. Um, so this time instead of just like looking at pl uh, spots for particular tanks to go to, we're just going to generally cover how the map plays out. Um, and since this is a first attempt at this revamp, um, by all means, please leave your feedback in the uh, the comments section of this video. That'd be very, very helpful so I know what I can improve on or change in the future of these videos. Um, anyway, um, we're going to get started here, and uh, we will see you uh, when uh, we get into the game. Alrighty, so uh, really quickly to start off, um, artillery. You'll find artillery back here, so I'm just going to cover where artillery will probably go. Um, already back here. Um, and then we're going to move over here into the Swampy Valley. And while I do that, I'm going to quickly adjust my volume settings. Alright, so, uh, flying eggs up there. I do want to mention here that, uh, you'll find opinion-wise, the valley is a completely redundant area to go. Just in general, it's a completely redundant area. Um, really to win the valley is to completely play defensively. You, you, you don't need to have the entire team over here. You just, you just don't. All you need is like one or two tanks with some really strong turret armor and the help of artillery and you'll be fine you yeah um anyway getting to this point here um only go here if you really have good turret armor and really good gun depression i'm talking like at minimum eight degrees of gun depression if you've got any less than that don't even come up here don't don't even go here don't go here because everyone else is going here don't go here you're just going to be uh, get in everyone's way I just bumped my mic. Don't worry about it. So, leave this area for those with gun depression and very strong turret armor. Um, some medium tanks that have that ability, they can get up here. They can try and get cornered, you know, get some angles on you. The issue why I dislike this area, and um, I guess people keep forgetting, is that this is a very good choke point for artillery. So, if you're fighting over here and you're, you're shooting at, like, Flying Egg, and Artie on the other side is just going to start raining bombs on you and your day is going to be ruined and your corpse is going to get in everyone's way. So again, you, you maybe need like a max of like a third of your team on this flank. There, there's no need for half of or greater than the team to be over here. And obviously, if you start taking fire or losses, you can just fall back to around behind this mound or fall back around to behind this corner or even behind the mound over there but we're going to move on to the middle section of the uh of this map and this area um is more very niche vehicles here um really quickly uh over here you'll find already sometimes over there you will find tds some very sniper tds along this section of the uh the lake this cliff area camping this ridge we're going to move down here. We're going to pretend I am a light tank. Um, so some light tanks, some very camo-ish uh, medium tanks, like the Bat Chat and some other ones, uh, can come over here. You, This tends to be like the spot right here where the light tanks are to try and spot the other flank here. If you have really good camo and you are uncontested on this middle uh, road here, you will be able to light up like everyone crossing and you're going to get a ton of spot assist but you really need to be aware that you know if you're over here alone and you are kind of squishy you are going to get lit up or pushed 
So if you don't happen to spot everyone over there and you get lit, you're in for a very, very bad day. Uh, that corner right here, this rock, this rock, these two rocks right here, depending on what side you're on, are very good safe spots. If you're on uh, the side that I started on, this rock over here is going to be your safe spot. Um, sometimes this rock as well, provided that you're not going to get pushed. So, um, yeah, and then later on in the game, you can push up here to this ridge, spot tanks over there, spot tanks over there. But if you rush this point early on in the game, two things are going to happen. Chances are you're not going to make it to this spot, and B, you're going to get rushed and unsupported. So, yeah, um, this spot here from the north side is definitely like a late game, mid game play when some tanks have been whittled down. We are going to move over to uh, the town now. That's going to probably going to be back and forth coming to the town from the north side here. Because uh, the town can be played by numerous different uh, methods here. Again, some sniper TDs are going to be sitting pretty much camping base the whole time. Um, I would say that that's not really out of character for those types of tanks here. And that's perfectly fine on this map. So don't worry about it. Another spot already you might find already in is going to be uh, this house area over here. Um, if you are a light tank, you might be doing what Flying Egg did earlier, and you might be scouting, or not scouting, you might be skirting the edge of the town here. Um, you can see that's what Flying Egg is. He's right over here. You got the camo, you got that ability, you got the speed. Chances are a slightly safer approach for spotting enemy tanks is to just straight come through the park here of the town and uh, just push till you get lit. And we're going to assume I get lit like right now. Um, just I'll, I'll duck into here. I, I do risk getting shot in the butt here, but I can do that option. Or uh, I can just do a quick uh, 180 and go back the way I came and then duck into a different road. Um, and just keep doing that loop. Um, so yeah. Now, um, medium tanks that are slightly kind of like heavy tanks, uh, I like to call them the, uh, the heaviums, or heavy tanks also that do not have the gun depression to fight over there in the valley. Um, the, what you should be doing here on this, definitely push town. A lot of times recently with this map being reintroduced, uh, this map, actually the t winning team is decided based on who manages to secure the town before uh, the enemy team or to before whoever pushes Valley wins Valley. So if you are a brawling, me uh, brawling medium tank or a brawling heavy tank, push town here and uh, fight around the church. So. Um, can fight over here on this on the front portion of the church it is a bit risky because you do risk getting shot from some of these side roads right here from snipers at the base um, a safer option at that point is to come around and brawl um, along this back road against tanks brawling from that back corner over there where flying egg is and of course by doing that not only are you far away um, and from the snipers and have a harder angle for them to shoot at you but you also have this solid cover that you can hide behind and wait till you're unspotted or in this case if you push up to this wall you can safely brawl from this corner and not have to worry about getting shot in the in the butt from most angles from the enemy spawn on the south and then you know once you push that area and you push uh you win this side start cleaning up in between these roads here I've, i just took out flying egg um take this back almost all the time take this back road so that way you aren't getting lit up by the snipers and then just start cleaning up down these roads and uh, alleys and everything else once you do that keep hanging along this back road because you're going to have solid cover almost all the way to their base and i mean almost you got the solid cover here. You will sometimes find sniper TDs having like a last stand here because they don't have the ability to cross back to their base. Um, you may get lit up by uh, anyone still over there on that road if they haven't been 
taken care of yet. Maybe a sniper or something over here. But right here, this is, for the most part at this point, this is where you've won. This is where you've won your flank, and now you can not only be um, shooting the snipers and everything over here. They are now exposed. All the snipers and everything are now completely exposed and at your mercy here. So, like, Flying Egg, Flying Egg does not really have a whole lot of hard cover for him to hide and escape the guns that are over here. There's some soft cover, but not a whole lot of hard cover, and he would actually have to go into the valley in order to escape us. And by that point, he has pretty much kind of constrained himself to a very, very small area. And with that allows us to just safely push up to their base. And to push up to the base, it's a lot safer to simply come down to the lake from that area over there and just push up to the mountain and fight along the mountain. It's all about the cover game here. You want to minimize your profile when crossing the open and getting to the base. As you can see, then you're fighting here. And at this point, if your team or a portion of your team is still fighting over in the um, the choke point area right there, uh, if, they're st if they're still fighting over there, at this point, you've pretty much won the game because now you've limited the enemy team to this little block of um little block to play in. you've limited them to three blocks and you now have total map control because you control all three corridors of the map or two and a half but that pretty much uh is exactly how you should be playing um from with various tank types on these map on uh this map from the north side it is a very corridor map very easy to do that and um, there is one other uh, thing I should mention here when fighting from the city is that if the presence of the camping tanks from the, uh, the south spawn is limited um, you can totally push through the bottom portion this outskirts of the town this way through the town and do that but now instead of all this beautiful hard cover that you got to my left you now have to push through this wide open space to get to where he's at and by that time depending on what's over there you may just get absolutely slaughtered before you will get over there and if you do end up spotting a bunch of tanks that are waiting for you and you end up taking cover behind a house, now you're stuck behind the house. You're not going to be able to escape. Whereas if you take, excuse me, the left side here, you have the ability to escape. You have the ability to maneuver and get different angles because you got this terrain feature, you got this little terrain feature that provides just a second of cover, and then you got this mountain here that you can use also to maneuver around, get separate angles, and for the most part, you're safe. You are not safe if you try and push them from the town through the little outskirts across this open field because anyone's still alive over here and anyone over there where Flying Egg is is going to eat you alive. Overall, that's pretty much about it. I was very uh, light on the, uh, the valley portion because I, I find the valley to be a completely redundant um, and place on the map and a complete waste of valuable team resources again you could probably defend that area with two very strong tanks and the help of Artie, um but at a maximum five tanks and that also includes Artie. so like five tanks plus Artie or four tanks plus Artie. either one of those options works but you don't need seven eight t seven to ten tanks over in the choke point because it's just an absolute cluster and a waste of resources to be sitting there um, clustered together like a fish in a barrel for artillery. Um, Flying Egg, do you have any uh, advice or anything that I, you feel that I missed? No? Okay. 
but yeah, um, if I didn't really miss much of anything there uh, of note, that's going to uh, do it for uh, the north side, and uh, going to end this section here, and I'll see you guys in a second when I come from the south side. Alrighty, so from the south side here, uh, valley pretty much is like completely mirrored, so... And mirrored, I mean, you play it the same way. Um, go up there only if you have strong turret armor and really good gun depression. Excuse me, gun depression. Go up there. Um, you will find some TDs actually have a much better angle. Well, minus the stupid rock here that I just now noticed. As you can see, I completely didn't even know about this rock. Because I don't go valley. The valley is completely stupid and redundant. Um, but yeah. So you will find camping TDs have a much better angle on uh, the valley uh, from here. You will find Artie, for the most part, will probably be hiding right behind this island or right behind this mound of dirt and rock. And they'll be able to just shoot right down on you. So yeah, other than that, valley plays exactly the same as the north side there. So I'm going to completely skip it did point out those key spots, but that's really all you need to know about the south side of that map. So we're going to push onto the, the lake road. Uh, like I said, same thing. Very um, light tank oriented, focused on this road. Um, at least early mid game here. You have some bushes to hide and cover. Um, if you are feeling brave enough, push up to this rock initially and you can do that by be careful exposing yourself because you are exposing yourself and with an easy shot to anything over here crossing and of course uh, the camping TVs over there this is your safety rock if you can and I mean if you can push up to this rock by that point you have secured the road provided that you have not um, just uh, enticed anyone to push you because then by that way you can are spotting anything over there all the camping TDs over here if Artie's over here by any of these buildings you're going to spot them and they're going to get counter battery or sniped most likely counter battery and if you happen to uh, <coughs> be a medium tank uh, that is fast or got camo or maybe even a little bit of armor um, you can obviously play the uh, the peek -a boom game with whatever is over here wouldn't recommend it would only recommend just kind of poking out briefly to spot them for your teammates and then backing up but you do you <coughs> goodness me this is what I get for being out in the rain for a weekend um, so we're going to fall back and we're going to go back to town. The nice thing about Lakeville is that it's, well, aside from being a corridor, which is not really good or bad, um, depending on what tank you're in, the good thing about this map is that the way that you play it is pretty much mirrored on both sides. If you are a very, very slow, lumbering, heavy tank and you decide to go town, hey, your best bet is to go town anyway because you're going to become a big, huge target, um, is to hug this mountain and try and get into this solid cover. Do not try and take a shortcut through here where you see flying egg. You're going to get lit and completely sent back to the garage before you even get a chance to play. So for everyone that isn't a light tank, hug the mountain and go through this back road to the town. Now, if we are a light tank and we are flying egg, uh, same thing that I recommended if we are a light tank and don't feel like taking the road. Go through the outskirts and the park. So, and you are actually have a better chance of ducking into the side roads uh, to safety than you are from the north side here. Because as you can see, once you hit this point, you have pretty much dodged the ire of any big gun that is going to be camping. 
base there. You don't really have that option with this road right there. You don't really have that option from the if from, if you are on the north side here. So you may still get shot by someone over there, like a light tank or whatever, but um, for the most part, you're safe. And then you can go back, loop around, and try again. And you can play that game there, and then maybe later, halfway through, you can make a rush down the middle road. Now, once again, pretending that I am a brawling medium or a uh, heavy tank or a brawling PD, we're going to assume here that uh, I am hugging the mountain. And we're gonna just, again, we're gonna take this back path here. Early on in the game, this spot right here is a good one to try and uh, <clears throat> counter any light tanks or anything that gets spotted on the road. Don't linger here. Don't, don't linger here. Uh, spot what needs to, you know, shoot what is spotted and then move on. So shoot them until they become unspotted or they're taken out and then move on. Don't hang out there. Don't, don't hang out there. You have plenty of time to shoot anything later. <clears throat> Take this back road. Take this back road. You have two options available to you at this point. You can go to that corner or <clears throat> you can take this road and you can go here. This one's a little bit more risky because as you can see, you have now opened yourself up if you are spotted to TDs over there. But the safest one is to definitely take this back road over here. Same, pre uh, <clears throat> same premise. Fight the heavy tanks that are going to be camping this back corner over there where you see Flying Egg driving to um, right there. There is that one road and they'll be on that corner or they'll be wedged over here in this series of buildings. Fight them, take care of them. Fight on that corner there or fight right here on this corner. <coughs> and then... Once you've cleared this out, push through. Take care of, you know, anyone lingering here. Sweep through, again, clean up operation right here. Clean up, clean up. <clears throat> then, you technically have two options. One of them you can do. One of them you really should do, provided that you can, well, arguably I'd say whatever you do, whatever tank you're in, take this route. <clears throat> this back road here, contrary to what I said on the uh, from attacking from the north side, as you can see, you really do not have that luxury of solid cover. So, taking this back road is kind of a bad idea. One second. Um. So what you should do. Because if at this point, at this point here, if you've secured the town, um, hopefully by now you have made uh, anyone that is still alive on that road from your side has made a mid-game play and pushed out or spotted what's ever over here. You have plenty of hard cover to hide behind and eliminate these guys. Now... In this situation here, that north side has lost the town, anything that's camping over there where Flying Egg is, is going to be fa falling back. Because they are now exposed, so they're going to be falling back around the mountain there. And so what you should be doing is the opposite of what you do when you're the north side, and you should be hugging the lake. Because you are at a lower terrain, the enemy team is backing up, so they are, you are very much limiting your profile. And as you can see here, you have the ability to go completely hull down. So I can, I can, I can, yeah, yeah, I can very easily go hull down. Or if I'm like an IS-7, for example, there is enough of a slope for me to go hull down here and, um, you know, fight here. And, of course, they're going to be right there 
where Flying Egg is. Uh, that is pretty much like the de facto like last stand line before you um, have backed yourself into your own teammates that mm, are probably either um, <clears throat> dying off at this point or still too focused in the valley to actually pay attention to what's going on. Um, and from this spot here too, for the most part, you are safe from anyone that is over here behind this hill. So, yeah. So the opposite here when ta attacking uh, the north base from the south is to hug the lake from the town because you have that cover of terrain and hills. And, uh, of course, this makes you safe from this spot there and, of course, that de facto last stand point right there. And at that point, you can afford to sit here and just plink away at each other. <laughs> and then, of course, you know, once that happens, push through, you know, you, you back them up. Hopefully anyone that has taken the mid ridge over here is now pushing along this hill. That's what you should be doing too. So if you are pushing up, join your buddies from the middle road, push up along here, push them out, push them off this point some people need to go back and clear out behind that hill. You could have someone hiding back there. So maybe a tank or two go back there. And then you just keep pushing. Keep pushing. And then there you go. You have now put yourself in a position to shoot the butts of whatever is still alive over here. Or you have, at this point, eliminated the last couple tanks that are still lingering alive. And there you go. That is how you play uh, Lakeville from the south side of the map. Um, Flying Egg, did I miss anything from the south side? No? Alright. So, yeah, that does it for Lakeville. It's a very self-explanatory um, <clears throat> map. It's very mirrored, with the exception of those two points that I mentioned of how to attack the base from the town. But other than that, it plays the exact same. Um, key notes to make a point of here, uh, not everyone needs to go valley, so do not all go valley, if you do not have the gun depression, or the, <clears throat> if you do not have the gun depression and turret armor, do not go here, go to town. If you, um, are going to town, be aware that it is very important that you take the town. The town is often, and in most cases, the deciding factor. If you go valley here, for whatever reason, be aware that you will be focused by Artie almost the entire time. That is why the less people here, the less likely you are to get completely just bombardier. But that's going to do it for today's video here. Uh, I know this may have been a long one, um, I'd like to thank you all for watching. If you enjoy this video, hit that thumbs up. If you found it helpful, hit that thumbs up. And uh, if you want to see more videos like this one, don't forget to subscribe. And again, one more thing. Uh, please leave your feedback of this new revamp of the map guide here. Uh, I changed it from <clears throat> uh, where I kind of showed key uh, points for locations for various tanks. Um, I'm just doing a general, here is how this map plays out. Um, leave your thoughts on that if and uh, advice or what you want to see or what you think I should change, etc, etc. But until next time, uh, special thanks to Flying Egg once again for the help. And uh, until next time, this has been Darren of Watsy Academy.